ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, kids of all ages, welcome back to another episode of RB Plays Enigmatica 6. That's right, folks, we're back in our modded world doing all the cool modded things. My name is RB Plays. I am your humble host on this side of the screen. Thanks so much for stopping by. If this is your first time here. Make sure that you hit the subscribe button and get notified every time we put new content up on the channel. So last episode, we were uh, we had ventured down the road of Ars Nouveau. Ars Nouveau is a cool magic mod. Uh, it, uh, it it actually is very cool. Um, and uh, and we did some stuff over here in our little garden slash farm area to get started under uh, the Ars Nouveau kind of a thing. Uh, hello. Okay, you must be underground. Uh, so we build a we built a mana condenser. The mana condenser takes mana, takes growth spurts from crops, and puts it into uh, mana into mana and turn, puts it into mana jars. The mana jar sitting adjacent to a crystallizer uh, absorbs the crystallizer, absorbs the mana, and then it makes da 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 a lot of mana gems. Right? I built a little AFK hut over here so that I could uh, so that I could be over here and keep this area kind of loaded. I don't remember what the exact mechanics of crop growth are. Like if you're so many blocks away, I think crop growth actually stops. So I wanted to make sure that I was in the area for the most part. Uh, but then I had to go and do some stuff in the main house. And uh, But we have uh, we have gotten almost two and a half stacks. Plus we've got a few uh, back at the uh, back at the main base. We've got a few uh, a few items there that uh, you know, that we can that we can kind of use to to do cool things. Um, that's getting out of control. Might have to do something about that. Eventually, we'll get into some kind of uh, some kind of like growth uh, automated farm kind of a thing for for reeds and or not reeds, but bamboo and, and sugar cane and all that. But today, today, I want to look at a little bit more into the Ars Nouveau stuff uh, that we started on the adventure of last episode. And one of the things that I want to make sure that we get are these amulets, the amulet of mana boost and the amulet of mana gem uh, regen, the mana regen and the mana boost of uh, 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 amulets will help you to absorb more mana uh, to use your spell book, right? So every time I break a block, every time I use my spell, yeah, every time I use my spell book, um, we use a little bit of mana. See how the blue bar over there on the left is going down, right? And if you're doing this, if you're going out and you're doing mining, you know, it it doesn't take long for you to have to have a, a little rest, a little sit down, a little cool down, and uh, and 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 recharge your mana. So I want to make sure that we can keep that to a minimum. So the the first thing that we're going to make today is we're going to make uh, these amulets, the boost and the regen amulets. So I think we'll do the boost first. That takes some diamonds. That also takes some uh, uh, some mana gems, but it also takes this dull trinket. And the dull trinket needs iron nuggets. And I'm thinking this one probably does too. Yeah, it needs a dull trinket as well. But that one also needs gold and diamonds so we should probably head back to the base we should probably grab a couple of things but the other thing uh, the other thing that i want to make is oh there's some armor that we can make no it's not that uh robe no not that uh robe yeah so the basic the basic robe the novice robes the apprentice robes and the archmage robes i think all we can do is is this basic one this novice one uh but mana fiber comes from mana blooms mana blooms uh, if we look in the book, we should probably get some of these going as well. Uh, but Mana Blooms, um, we find the right place here. Uh, resources, Mana Bloom Seeds, yeah. So Mana Bloom Seeds are just, uh, are just four, four Mana Gems in an enchanting apparatus uh, that will allow us to get, uh, to get Wheat Seeds. So we have the enchanting apparatus, but we also need the pedestals. So... That was the reason, those were the reasons why we needed a bunch of these, uh, a bunch of these crystals. So let's go back to the base and, uh, and let's get these pedestals built. Actually, can I do them here? Um, pedestal, that would be them right there, the arcane pedestals. So that's just arcane stone. Arcane stone is a gem surrounded by stone and I don't have any stone out here. So we'll have to go back to the base, yes. So let's go back to the base, let's grab some stone and let's make a bunch of these pedestals. We need eight, uh, so let's get eight pedestals. I think I've got this set up right for the most part. Those blocks, those those blue like shale or whatever blocks that they were, uh, that's um, those are the placements that I think they need to be in. Don't know for sure. Uh, anyway, we should have 
We have a little bit of stone. Yeah. Uh, we probably should make some more stone. You're processing stuff. Yeah, you're processing stuff a lot. We might have to we might have to get you to do uh, some more stone up here, which we can do. Not a big deal. We can definitely do this. Uh, so we'll just go out here. And oh yeah, that's uh, yeah, okay. Uh, put you over there. That gives us four. Uh, I don't know that I have any more. I don't know that I have more full. Uh, um, bag? Ye oh yeah. Oh, we're oh we're good. We got lots and lots of full. Okay. Uh, back into game. Sorry. Phone was making noise, so I had to check it real quick. Um, anyway, so we got some coal cooking up there. We got a crafting. No, that's not a crafting bench. We need a crafting bench. Oh, wait, I have a crafting bench out here. Okay. So anyway, we take some of this and we do some of this and we turn that into uh, arcane stone. That gives us eight times six is 40. Yeah, we should. Yeah, that's probably fine. Uh, and then pedestals. That's just those. That's seven. Oh, we need one more. We need one more. One more piece of stone. Yes, please. So that should give us that. And then that should give us that. And that gives us that. Whoop, whoop, and whoop. Cool. All right, so that's eight pedestals. Uh, let's grab some other stuff while we're here. Some gold and some iron and some iron nuggets. You know, stuff like that. Uh, so gold, check. Uh, I think we only need like two pieces of gold, I think. I don't know for sure. How many we need? Maybe that's enough. I don't know. Uh, and then uh, we can put, uh, let's see, we got diamonds over here. How, yeah, so uh, I think we needed, I think we needed like five of those. One, two, three, four, five. Yes, please. Might as well grab those and put them. Oh, wait, those are different stone. Those are mana gems. Oh, this is a mana gem found with arcane. Or this is a mana gem found with, uh, not found with. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting that they're not the same. That's interesting, to say the least. Uh, what else do we need? I need some iron. Iron. Yeah, we got some iron. So one, two, three, four, five. Nine, 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 ten. That should be enough. That should be enough. Okay. Back out to the field. And apparently fall in a hole. Is it nighttime? Is it nighttime? Nope. It's not nighttime. There must just be mob. There just must just be mobs outside in a hole someplace. There is. It is about to be nighttime though. All right, we'll come back out here. Uh, we do have a crafting bench out here, so let's get let's place these arcane pedestals for one. Uh, arcane pedestals, check. So if I place one here, one here. I don't know if I'm placing these in the right places. I, I have no idea. Uh, I would like to thank uh, someone. Who is, it? Who is it that I wanted to thank? Thank. Let me find his name real quick. That's not it. That's not it. Comments. His name is, his name is Bailey. Uh, he is the Ars Nouveau developer. Uh, so the Ars Nouveau developer stopped by and uh, gave us some comments on, on on what we were doing here. He's the one that suggested the uh, the armor and, and, and all that. So we'll definitely look into that for sure. And that, and then that, and then sleep. And so now, now we should be able to do a couple of things. Uh, number one, I wonder if, you know what I wonder? You know what I'm going to do? Do this. Oh, no, don't do that. Oh, apparently I can't break that with that. Apparently I can't break that with that. Uh, okay. It says pickaxe. I'm going to put that there. I think that this, based on what I'm seeing, I think this, I think it just needs to be a square. So we'll try this. I should have just tried it like this anyway, or tried it the way I had it, but it's fine. 
And when those break, they break large. <laughs> All right, anyway, so that gives us the uh, the good old uh, crafting thing. And then uh, we just need a, I think we just need to do this. So one, two, three, four. Uh, this was the seed, so uh, seed. You know what? It doesn't it doesn't pay to look there. Let's look in the book. Uh, the Ars Nouveau notebook. Worn notebook. That's it. So, um, a magically infused flower, mana blooms provide. Uh, need a wheat seed. Okay. So I should have a wheat seed. Broccoli seeds. Wheat seeds. There we go. So we have a wheat seed, and we can put we can put some of these in here because we don't need that many. Dang, we don't need that many. Uh, and then put that in there. I don't think that works. I don't think that's the right thing. Uh, yeah, yeah. Nope. Uh, okay. I don't think that's working. Check the book. One, two, three. Yeah. So we're trying to get mana fiber from this, and that doesn't seem to be doesn't seem to be working. So let's check the uh, magical equipment. Let's check the nope nope machines. That's it. The enchanting apparatus. The enchanting apparatus utilizes pedestals and world mana for crafting. To use the enchanting apparatus, place a number of pedestals nearby with. Uh, the guys, you place your agent item on the enchanting apparatus block and interact with the block while sneaking to begin the craft. Ah, so sneak. Oh, look at that. Well, that's fancy. That's fancy. So that gives us a mana bloom seed. All right, so we should be able to plant this now, right? So give me that. And give me this, and we'll just go ahead and put this. We'll just go ahead and put this right here, right? Sure. Da da. We'll make more of those. Uh, but that's cool. That's very cool. So now we're ready to make. Uh, now we're ready to make these amulets, right? Let's do those first. Amulet. So we want the mana boost. So let's get a dull trinket. So we just need some iron nuggets and uh, and a thing. So let's get some iron nuggets. And do that, and do that, and do that, and give me that. Cool. Uh, and then the, and then we just need three diamonds and five gems. So three diamonds. So one, two, three, and five gems. So one, two, three, four, five. And then the amulet, which uh, is right here. Oh, we made two of those. Fancy. I didn't know we could make two of those. Uh, anyway, let's do that, do that, and do that, and then sneak. Yeah, buddy. Hopefully, I got that screenshot because that's gonna be that's gonna be a winner. That's gonna be a keeper. But that gives us oh, an amulet of mana boost. Now over here, yes, nice. Ooh, can we not wear both of those at the same time? Ooh, we may not be able to wear both of those at the same time. Uh-oh. But anyway, so that's mana boost, right? Let's find our spell book. That's definitely, I think that's a lot more, I think that's a lot more uses that I got out of that than I normally would, I think. Think that's more uses than I than I got before. All right, let's do the other one. So the other one was the amulet of regen. Oh, you know what? This is probably the one that I really want anyway. So we need uh, that, 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 and that, and then gold here, one there, and one there, and then we need diamonds. 
So diamond there, diamond there. We need this amulet. And a screenshot. And that gives us this amulet of regen. There's no slot available for it. Hmm. All right, well, let's try this thing then. Now that we've got that squared away, Yeah, the regen, the mana's coming back a lot faster now. But I still use a lot of it. Like, I still use a ton of it. So that's probably where the armor or the uh, or whatever uh, the other item is that we're supposed to be making, that's probably where that comes in. Yeah. Okay. All right. Give me just a minute. I'm going to do some... Uh, I'm going to do some some tidying up on my inventory because my inventory is a mess. Let me do some tidying up on my inventory, figure out what all we need for the next round of this stuff. And I will be back in a minute. Okay, so that gives us six mana blooms. So I, I put together just a real quick and dirty uh, way to get bone meal and then, you know, harvested up all the a lot of the plants and stuff, got some bone meal, uh, started bone meal in those mana seeds and got mana blooms. And each one of these mana blooms turns into mana fibers. The mana fibers are what we need to make the armor or the robes or whatever you want to call them that we're going to try and make next. So uh, it, that six of those, that should give us 24. And I think it only takes 23 uh, 23 pieces of this to make a full set of uh, a full set of robes. So uh, let's do this. We just need a uh, mana hood or a novice hood. So let's grab one of those. Let's grab one of these. Yes, please. Uh, let's grab one of these pairs of boots. That's perfect. And then a pair of pants. Yeah, novice leggings. Cool. So now if we take all this off, and put all this on, what do we look like? F5. Yeah. We look, I don't know, we look like something. But uh, that should help to increase our mana usage as well, or help to to uh, to mitigate or, or optimize our mana usage as well. So let's see how this does now. Um, right, uh, right, yeah, right here, yeah, sure, sure. Yeah. So we got the, oh, hey, look at this. <gasps> yeah, so that's kind of cool. The, the mark moved. So that should, oh, oh yeah, that's, oh yeah, that's nice there, eh? Yeah, that's okay. That is okay. I like it. I like it a lot. That has, that has helped out quite a bit. So, looks like I need to go and do some mining now and see if I can do uh, a good bit of mining uh, without uh, without running out of mana, because that's the thing, right? It, it, it has taken, yeah, that works. Um, it takes a lot of mana to do the mining, but that's cool, right? We got ourselves the first, the first stage. Now the second stage, if we wanted to get into the second stage, that's gonna require us going to the nether because that requires blaze fibers. And the blaze fibers are what we use to make the apprentice level, right? And then the apprentice level, the next step after that is the uh, is the archmage. And the archmage requires uh, chorus fruit, specifically popped chorus fruit and the blaze fibers from before. So now that we've got our novice stuff on though, we should be in a much better position uh, to get uh, to get going in some in some different directions with Ars Nouveau. Uh, what I'm gonna do here first, uh, next I should say, is we're gonna sleep here in a second, but I wanna look at uh, the the press. There's a, there's a glyph press, right? And the glyph press, I think is the next step of things that we want to uh, get into because you can't get into any advanced spells without a without making some glyphs, and so we want to make the glyph press. It says assessing new spells requires a special machine machine designed to convert uh, reagents into spell glyphs. 
These glyphs can be used to unlock new spells in a spell book or may be used in special crafting recipes. Creating a glyph will require a special form of cl magical clay, a reagent for the spell, and a nearby man and nearby mana provided by a mana jar. To use the glyph press, first place your clay into the press, etc., etc., etc. We'll get into that in a minute. But to make the glyph press, we just need some arcane stone, we need a block of iron, we need some regular stone, and we need a piston. So let's take a look at that. Uh, where is my sleeping bag? My sleeping bag. Let's go to sleep. Make it daytime because I don't like night. You guys know that about me. Uh, let's go ahead and be head back to the back to the base. Uh, we needed two pieces of stone, right? So that's that's cool. It was just two pieces of stone, right? Yes, two pieces of stone, block of iron, and then uh, some 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 of these. So arcane stone. We're gonna need to make some of those. Give me. Oh, we got some. Okay, we're good. We're good. We'll give me those. We'll go back here. We'll get a block of iron. We'll make a piston. And then we should be able to make a glyph press. And then we should work on that magical clay that it was talking about, too. And that'll probably wrap up the episode for today uh, once we get into that. Because I know we're getting close on time. Uh, that first that first clip was something like 16 minutes. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> uh, anyway, so down here we should have iron... Uh, oh, yeah, we get plenty of iron. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, plus one for a piston. So we'll make a block. We'll make a block of iron. Check. Uh, we'll, oh, we need some more stone. And that was up here in this in these furnaces outside. So let's get those. Not that one. That one. Cool. We had, whoops, we had enough stone to make what we were making. We just didn't have the, uh, we didn't have the, the arcane stone, the stuff. So we've got to make some more of that. So take one of you. Yes, please. And we take some of you. Also, yes, please. That gives us some of those. Nice. Uh, we need a... We need some redstone. Do I have redstone? I do have redstone. Okay. So we need to make a piston. Uh, so that is one, two, one, two, one, two, three, one, two. Yeah. So there's a piston. So now we should be able to make, now we should be able to make this guy, right? The, the glyph press. Uh, the glyph press is that plus that plus that. Okay. So, so you go in the center, you make a little hat. Uh, you do that, and then two pieces of stone right there. Yeah, there's a glyph press. Cool. All right, so now more information about the glyph press. Uh, that would be here. Uh, so we need to make this reagent clay. Put your first... Uh, if there's enough mana, by, uh, mana will be provided a jar. A glyph press may be automated using hoppers, a hopper. Okay, so... What do these glyphs look like? That's the next thing I want to find out. Uh, glyph. Oh, there it is. So that's the glyph. Intangible, ignite. I think all the blue ones are first level. I think. Nope. That definitely, uh, maybe it is first level, I don't know. Slow fall, ooh, a feather. <gasps> we could do a slow fall glyph. Ooh, nifty neato. Anyway, we've got to make some of this clay. So that's redstone plus clay plus uh, plus those uh, plus some of those crystals. I think I have some clay. I may not. I may not have any clay. Uh, upstairs. I think I have clay upstairs. Let's go look. So clay. No, no clay there. There's a little bit of clay. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. It's all good. It's fine. We can make 31 pieces. Actually, it probably can I make more than that? Yeah, it's one for one, so okay. Uh, but we need some redstone, so give me that. And then we need this plus this plus that. Yeah. Nice. So that gives us those. We can put the redstone back away. Uh, I'm going to put the coal back in there. I am also going to get rid of this armor. 
I don't need this armor right now, so I'm going to put it away. We should probably look at some kind of backpack. Oh, you know what would be great? It's some kind of bag of holding. Is there a bag of holding? Bag of treasure bag from Lost Trinkets. Lunch bag from Lost Trinkets. Is there a bag of holding? There's chisels. There's chiseled bits. Sleeping bag. Quantum bag. Ooh, quantum bag from quantum storage. Quantum bag. That requires white wool. Diamond storage crate. Gold storage crate. Might be able to make one of those. Might be able to make one of those. That's fine. Uh, anyway, this is my armor. So we'll put armor in there for right now. That's all pieces, right? Sure it is. Surely it is. Oh, we got a piece of gold on us, too. We don't need that. Can I go downstairs, please? So let's get rid of this piece of gold. We'll get rid of this iron nugget that I think I still have, too. Yep, yep. Uh, and then... Oh, we do, you don't fit. Okay, well, that's fine. We'll put you there. And then I don't know why I keep carrying around this holosphere. We don't need that. Uh, and then that. So, glyph press. Back to the... Uh, Back out to the farm, because that's where all the mana is. That's where the mana jar is. And we should be able to make our first glyph. Maybe. Possibly. Could be. Sort of. Uh, we're going to take a piece of this arcane stone. We're going to put this like right there. We're going to put this glyph press right on top of that. Right there. And then we're going to take a piece of this clay and put it in there like there. I don't know if that does anything. Do we jump on this? No. Okay. Looks like I got to read a book. <laughs> I'll be back in a minute. Okay. So I did a little bit more reading and there, there's one thing that I'm missing. What are that? Oh, that's a wandering trader. There's one thing I'm missing. And I'm missing, what I'm missing is a reagent. And so like if I wanted to make... Uh, if I wanted to make this ignite glyph, that would be magic clay plus a flint and steel. So let's grab a piece of flint, right? We already have a piece of iron. I went up to the base and got a piece of iron. And hi, what do you have? Um, nothing really good. So I will probably kill you in a minute. Hang, hang tight. Uh, but if we do this and we do this, we make a flint and steel, right? Then we can bring this flint and steel over and we can put it into the glyph press like a so and look it starts doing stuff how about that and it just made us ha it just made us a glyph that's nice right and then we should be able to put this glyph into our book so how do we get glyphs into the book that's the that's the other thing to get glyphs into the book uh nope that's not it uh so glyph press uh then we want our spell book uh, new spells. Uh, new spells can be attained by learning glyphs. Uh, glyphs are created by a glitch press with a reagent, blah, blah, blah. Simply use it with a spell book in your inventory uh, in order to write the glyphs of the book. Okay, so as long as the spell book is in our inventory, as long as we use this, hey, hey, we now have that ignite spell uh, in our... Uh, it, yeah, there it is right there. So we used to have just break and harm. Now we have ignite. Uh, so if we wanted to do... Uh, if we <laughs> if we wanted to do a uh, so get rid of that get rid of that if we wanted to do a projectile ignite we'll call we're, I, I don't know if this is gonna work or not we'll call it firebolt fireball firebolt we'll call it firebolt because that's the D and D thing so we'll do do firebolt create yeah. <laughs> I told you I was gonna kill you. <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> Setting wandering traders on fire. I shouldn't enjoy this as much as I do, but it is what it is. Oh, look, we killed one. We didn't really kill it. Oh, we did. But die. Yeah, you're dead, and you're dead too. So that is how you make glyphs, and that's what you use them for. You use them to kill wandering random traders. Uh, there's a lot of more. There's a lot more glyphs in here that we need to uh, that we need to to work out. Uh, 
Y'all ha have to take a look at this and tell me which glyphs you think we need. I'll take a look at it as well uh, and see which, which direction maybe we want to go. But sadly, that is all the time I have for today. So thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe. The likes and subscriptions help out oh so immensely when it comes to those pesky YouTube search results. The other thing that helps out a lot is comments. So make sure you leave your comments right down here in the comment section below. We'll chat about it. Leave your tips, your tricks, your pointers, your attaboys, your what in the world were you thinking? All that good stuff. And we'll chat about it in kind. Don't forget to stop by our Discord server where we talk about all things life, all things gaming, and all things Minecraft. Also, don't forget that we stream every Saturday, Sunday, and Wednesday over on twitch.tv slash rb underscore plays. The link for that will be down in the description as well as uh, when you get over there, there's a tab for the schedule that shows what time our live streams begin. But again, folks, that is all the time here for today. Thank you so much for stopping by, and until next time, we will catch you on the flip side. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.